Today, friends, it is finally the day the Porsche we have been waiting for is here. Or oh, Porsche, if you'd like me to speak like this, then I can possibly do so for you. But no. Not today. Elite bundle number nine has arrived in the crew too, and we're gonna check it out. So to start us off, we have got the Expo GT4 looks super sick. The 911 GT is the car we're gonna customize, and of course, we do also have the Koenigsegg CCR, which I will be doing also, but not right now. This, this is what we're doing, baby. Now I've got that. Let's actually have a look through and see if there's anything new in the vanity that I may want. It's all going to be cri oh, it's all Christmas theme. I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, we've already got that. Let's buy the red nitro. So there's actually been quite a few Porsches recently. This one is one of them, which is just mental. But of course, this is the latest one. Why are people so excited about it? Well, I'm here to explain it to you, friends. This thing has been... We already know that this was coming. Like, we saw it, people leaked it, it's been flowing around the internet for a while, and now we finally have the chance to give it a go. So, of course, we're going to do so. This thing, I'm hoping, is one of the coolest, best cars to drive on PvP. I'm going to be trying it out, seeing my opinion on it, and, of course, we need to get to customizing it. Although it already has a wide body from the factory, uh, maybe we can make it wider. <laughs> Let's get to it then. Visual customization commence. And again, this thing better be fantastic. It already looks so freaking cool. I kind of like the contrast on that option there. We're going to go... We, we might come back to that. We've got 24 bumper customizations. But as I said, I'm hoping... People have been wondering, is this thing going to be any good in the PvP? Is it going to be solid? And I'm... Oh, I'm genuinely hoping so. Visually, it's looking pretty spicy. I kind of like the blacked out there, the blacked out on the lights. We can change the fenders to carbon. We can make it even wider. Gen I was not, I was not expecting that. I said it kind of out of thin air. That is incredible. That looks so sick. And I kind of like having the classic Porsche wheels on there. I might end up just doing that. Wing mirror customization, that needs to be fixed up, made a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, that looks pretty spicy. We're gonna do that. Aerodynamics. We're making this thing speed and power build. Speed and power. Oh, and a little bit of uh, aesthetics too, because he's got, oh, <laughs> damn boy. I'm bringing it back. She's thick. Come on then, rear wing, what we got? So a carbon blade, that in itself, I would be happy with just that. It looks sick. We can change the wing up to a kind of more modern one. We got the wang on wang with a double wang. And we got this thing. I want to go for the double wang. Of course I do. Of course, as if I would. Genuinely, I probably at the beginning of maybe last year, I was not much of a Porsche man. As I progress in my age, I think I'm getting old to the point where these things are really doing things to me. Every single time now, I've got a massive Porsche collection across. Oh, that's nice. Across many games. And quite fr oh, quite frankly... I, the more I see, the more me want. Interior customization, I'm going for some red seats. Give me those red seats, baby. They look nice and spicy. Yeah, I decided we're going for just the black Porsche wheels. It just looks really good. I really would never, never normally go for any wheels like that, but it just looks tremendous. We've got a purple paint. You know, pants purple, you already know. And uh, vanity items is what we've got left. So we can just spice it up just a little bit more. Just a little bit because it's already mega spicy. Let's go for that one. I want the purple theme here. Everything purple. How about underglow? Yes. And always one of the most satisfying things to do. Putting on the 280 parts. Any I have available. I... Oh. And then taking them off other cars. <laughs> because why not? Okay, friends. Welcome to Miami. And we're now going to listen to this beautiful Porsche. Sick. Beautiful. We love it. And we're going to... We're not going to make it. <laughs> anyway, this thing looks so freaking good. I love it. I have smashed the front end up a little bit, but look at the purple. Look at the underglow. Look at the wheels. The fitment's not the best of the best, but it's still much better than it has been in a while. I really do like the look of this car. I think it looks great. He says as he comes back to the place to customize it and pop the hood back to normal. It, it looks clean, man. It's worth giving it the beans and having a listen to this machine and also seeing how it does. I'm <laughs> driving and he's smashing the bloody thing. Listen, it's the crew. It's been a while. And honestly, oh, that feels good. That actually feels really good. 
I think this may be a pretty stable, pretty stable car. There's only really one way to tell, and that's by doing an actual race. We should probably, uh, probably do that. Jumped in to a street race on PvP, which is even better. I was hoping that we could get into a PvP event. I never really tend to say, because I'm like, can we actually get in? Because I'm on UK time. Not America. Oh, and now we need to quickly find my Porsche. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, got it. <laughs> Let's go. Man, it looks really good. I don't normally go for metallic, but it just, it kind of shone on this a little bit. Come on then, Porsche. Let's get down to business. We got a GTR and an F12 here. I'm going to say the GTR is probably one of the most common cars that we, we come up against. But of course, the best cars, in my opinion, is usually... A hurricane. Hypercar or supercar, hurricane always seems to be the way that I really want to go. But you know what? The st oh, I was going to say the stability is so good. The stability did make me overshoot that a little bit there. Come on. Oh, no. Come on. There's the Ferrari. Right there. Right there. Oh, beautiful. It's almost a bit too much. It's, it's almost too grippy. And I'm trying to compensate, and I'm just throwing myself off. We've got that GTR right ahead of us. F12, about perfectly distance between. Oh, he's messed it up. He's messed it up. Trying to avoid overcompensation, as I said. But this thing is so beautiful, so well balanced. Check of the mic to see if I'm muted. I don't know how I got outside these walls. I just kind of plopped through. Great. I mean, the tremendous ability for this thing to catch back up super quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I'm not going to take that as a win. That was that was an unfair advantage right there. <laughs> whoa, catching up that GTR. I did not slip. Did you see that? There was no slippage at all there. What the hell is this thing? Ma mate, we've got gorilla glue on the damn wheels. Now that woman put the stupid glue in her hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's back again. and She's putting glue on my damn tires. Always oh, passing me. Bit of drafting. Bit of overconfidence, sitting about 200 miles an hour, and this thing is topping. Of course, I'm now drafting the GTR. That F12 is going to be gone. I feel so bad. I always love racing on the crew. It's just like when you properly get into the flow of it, it's just so much fun. Oh, careful. I didn't see that solid fence there. Rain is definitely having an effect. But look at that. First race. Porsche man did it. Po call me Porsche man Magee now. I'm Oh, let's go reclaiming the points that I lost for leaving the last session because it wasn't the event that I wanted. <laughs> let's go regular on the podium. That's me. Well, did I just get some nice yellow parts? Yes, everybody's put the strip south. <laughs> That's my event, baby. That's mine. But there are some platinum boys here. If I mess up the strip south, I will never, ever forgive myself. This is my damn event. I played this event probably thousands of times at this point now. So I need to get it right. I've not done it in this car, though. Careful, careful. That R8. Oh, look at this boy. Here's the corner. Avoid the jump. You already know. Let's get it. That was really wide. He took it super wide. I somehow accidentally put blue smoke on. I don't know how I did that. Oh, I've gone round. Yeah, we're going round. Can't see. We're okay. Okay. Very odd way to go. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm still doing I. Right. I'm still doing I. Right. <gasps> yes! Are you kidding? Why would you leave now? Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, don't touch the wall. Overshoot, overshoot. Boost, boost. Look how well it grips the left. It's properly doing well here. Come on, come on, come on. He knows how to go round. I've actually never gone round that ramp. No! Oh! Oh, God! Really cracked under the pressure. Not acceptable. Second place on my event. My event! Whatever. Don't matter. Still a super sick car. I definitely can't wait to test it some more. I think I was, like, properly balanced with this guy. He, of course, is a Platinum 1, so he knows what cars to pick. But maybe I just convinced the man. Change it up. Use the Porsche. Check it out. It's out now limited time and then it's just gone i think right that's how it works i, I can't remember peace